Hey, hey, what's going on team? Get some. I just charged my IC card because right next door here are some vending machines. Let's go have a look. Come on, come on. This machine sells the Wagyu. This comes from Miyazaki Prefecture, Japan. Sirloin steak, roast steak. This is, oh, wow. Yusuji, Bada. Unfortunately, it is a Sunday afternoon and they're sold out. So unfortunately, we're just gonna be salivating here. But anyway, it's a gorgeous machine. Shinagawa Station in Tokyo. Come early and you get a chance to buy something. Luckily though, there's a machine right next door here that sells some really cool stuff too. And every item is different and they're available, most of them. Yeah. What kind of stuff is it? Roast chicken? This is like gourmet stuff here. This is some kind of a soup, almond milk soup. What the? Wow. Let's just buy them all. It looks good, doesn't it? It's another soup. Chili shrimp right here. This is popular. Looks like it's got it's spicy. It's got garlic in it. Clam chowder right here. Huh? Spicy pork something. All right. Well, I got this all charged up. It's got the, the coin slot on it, right? But this machine, it's not outfitted for it. See, the slot's not there, right? So, I'm using prepaid train card, but any, you know, any IC card, credit card will do. Let's buy them. Number one. I came prepared today with my cooler box. Yeah, yeah. Here's what it looks like. You just heat it up. Easy enough. It's compact. Okay. Roast chicken. Number two. That's just weird looking, isn't it? That's just weird looking. There it is. This one sounds more like a dessert. Almond milk soup. Is it a dessert? I don't know. It's got broccoli, shrimp, potatoes. Okay. Give it a try. Just go around the clock here. Get them all. So it looks like they're all made by the Badish company. And there's instructions. You just heat it up in a microwave. It's pretty simple. Next up, number four, some kind of soup. Gyusuji. So it's got uh, beef in it. Okay, number four. Uh-oh, did it get stuck? Oh, Houston, we have a problem. I don't know, let's try number six. So number four. Are didn't deliver. Six always works, doesn't it? Here's my lucky number. Processing. Yeah, same thing. It says to lift the door up and take it out, but it's not dropping down. Let's try one more. Number seven. It's deducting the money from my card. So this, this is gonna get expensive. Oh, here, okay, here they come. All of them? That's just number seven. So it ripped me off on number four and number six. Let's keep going. Back in business. There's the clam chowder right there. Looks good. Number nine coming down. Spicy pork. It's a beans in here. It's a bean dish. Seven kinds of beans. Is that right? And that's it. These are bags, freezer kits, which I don't need. I've got somewhere in business. We got number four. It came again. Let's try number six now. Maybe I'm thinking it didn't charge the card, maybe? I'm pretty sure it, as long as it makes the beep, it's charging the card. I'll be real observant here. I guess we could look at the video and see. You buy it. Here. So you heard the beep, right? The machine doesn't like the Eric Surf 6. Eric Surf 6 denied. Maybe this is a message. This is the end of the vending machine series. No more vending machines ever. This could be the last one, guys. Are you feeling it? Woo. Okay, here we go. It pushed out the other one. Eric Surf 6 is in business. I hope this is good, because we got two of them. It is what it is, but I'm, I'm sure there's still one or two that are stuck in there. There's maybe, well, that one came out. It's hard to say. Later that night. Just pulled up at some vending machines. Let's see what they got. This one sells chocolate. 
Nama chocolate creator. Oh, that's rare chocolate, no preservatives. It's a whole machine of chocolate and syrup. Yeah, this one comes in a, oh, it's a preen. It comes in a, okay, we gotta do that. That's a pudding. Oh, nice, this one too. So a couple different types of puddings and then the rare chocolate. Oh, there's another one. This one's got, this is the standard gyoza dumplings that you eat with ramen typically. And then these are the shumai style dumplings. These are very common. Typically you'll find these at ramen restaurants. And actually this is a restaurant here. This is, it's not open today, but yeah, Japanese style restaurants. Yeah, they've probably got ramen. All right, let's get in here for some chocolate. Is it available? Yes, it is. Shall we do lucky number six? Is it still lucky? Actually, it is still lucky. The last place that I went to refunded me not just the money that I paid for those couple items, they sent me a box of every item in the, in the machine, nine items total, so that was pretty awesome. A Little bit of time has passed since, but today is definitely eating day for sure. Will it take my money? Yes, it will. Okay, grabbing the dessert. Ooh, it's like it's gift boxed. Fancy, fancy. Okay, and let's do one of the puddings. So, Nama chocolate, this is Nama white chocolate. White chocolate pudding, I've never seen that before. Okay, so we got two desserts. Mega will be happy. Yeah, <laughs> do number 11. Oh, 10, these are sold out. The white chocolate ones are sold out, bummer. No, that's okay, we got chocolate ones here too. That looks pretty killer. Do number eight. No worries. There she blows. Same container, this one's heavier. Whoa, oh, and he dumps it, no. Don't think I broke anything. Let's get packed up and out of here. Hey, we are back. I'm being joined by Mega Brain 6100. Mega Brain 6100. Yes, what a great username. <laughs> How did you get that username? Do you remember? I don't remember. I gave it to you when you were like four years old or something. <laughs> this guy's been on YouTube 17 years, I think. And now you're what, 22? Two. So there you go. Do the math. Actually, there's some pre-YouTube stuff too. I used to be into doing like family video stuff before YouTube came along. So you've been on since you were like a baby. Yeah. All right, anyway, are you hungry? I'm starving. We have a total feast tonight. I mean, this stuff, when I got it, it just came in these little like bleed packs and I thought, well, this is, they're mostly soups, but that's not the case. We've got some serious gourmet food here tonight, don't we? Yeah. This really looks good. And you can just tell by the smell and the variety once it came out of the packs, it was like, this stuff is alive, man, right? Yeah. When it was in the packs, I was thinking like, this is gonna be uh, like a convenience store disaster, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> a lot of their stuff's in plastic, right? <laughs> All right, let's do a kampai, shall we? We've got two plum cocktails that we're gonna compare tonight. We've had these before, but we've never had them together. So we're gonna compare the Sapporo plum cocktail, sour plum cocktail. It's a salty plum, not sweet. And yours the same, or is that it's a more a sweet one? Santori. Okay, Santori. And it just says plum sour? Yeah. Okay, cheers. Cheers. I know what this one tastes like. This is an adult cocktail. It's, it's just, the, it's got the right sweet and sourness. This one's more easy to drink. I is say. it? Yeah. Okay. This one's creamy. Yeah. I think it's I like much. them. I like them both equally, but this is sweeter. Definitely yeah. sweeter, but it's good. It's good. It's good. And these are pretty low alcohol content. I think mine is, this one's five, yours is what, three? This one's three. Yeah, so they're, they're pretty basic. Okay, Mega, you're the guest. Where would you like to start tonight? We got a feast. I want to try the clam chowder. Clam chowder. We're eating out of the same bowls. We, we yeah. got a shortage of bowls here. <laughs> 
That's a little bit weird. That's the way it is. You eat on that side of the bowl, I'll eat on this side. We didn't prepare any bread with this, but we do have rice. It's pretty thick. Okay, clam chowder. Tastes like um, cardboard. I'm gonna go a little deeper. I did get some clams on that first bite. I could taste a little bit of clams. Can you? A little bit. Go deeper. Okay, the chef has just brought us some new dishes here so we could share. But it's so thick, it's, it's not thick. mixing. I like it, but there, there, do you get the cardboard? There is kind of a, I don't know, is it cheese? What is that? It's a little bit weird. It's a little bit weird. <laughs> like cottage cheese flavor. And there's other things in here too. I taste some beans. Beans, there's some carrots, some onions. Mostly beans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a tiny little bit of clump. But it's gourmet for sure. There's something going on here that is interesting. And this is a broccoli and gyu suji, is that right? This is the weirdest one because the color of the soup, it's gray when it came out. And here it's yellow on the package. Okay, and this is a, can you read that? It's ebi shrimp and broccoli. Shrimp and, it's acai bisque. But we know for sure there's broccoli and four kinds. What is this? It, well, there's shrimp and four other things, right? Yeah. Okay. It's gourmet food in plastic bags. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> we come from the future. <laughs> Oh, it's like the squid ink. That's why. Yeah. That's why it's the squid ink. That's why it's dark. You can taste it, right? I like the taste. You like it? It's creamy. A little bit salty. Okay. I'll say that um, it works with the broccoli. It does. It works with the broccoli. Broccoli I'm not a huge fan of, but this, the squid and the squid ink. Gotta eat your greens, though. Right? If you can get your broccoli down with squid ink, hey, that's a win-win, isn't it? It is. Okay. Let's do this next soup. All right. And this one is a beet and then almond milk. There's 10 types of something. something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm trying to qualify this as gourmet foods. Okay. Help yourself. Oh, it's pretty thick soup. I can see the beets. I, I love the color. The pink is yeah. great. Okay. Almond milk. I love me some almond milk. And beets, like cubes of beets. Have you had beets before? You probably don't like beets. Oh, that's, my that's what's giving the red color. I don't know. It's like a salad soup. Yeah. And the almond milk is watery. I mean, it, it, does taste like a fancy restaurant, kind of. You're up. Uh, Broccoli of. and roasted chicken. Broccoli and roasted chicken. But it's pretty amazing to get so much variety out of one machine. That's the big take from today's video, right? Yeah. All right, going in. This is banging. It's banging. Wow. The almonds and the chicken. And the sauce is just groovy, whatever that goes. I mean, right? Yeah. You're not a big broccoli fan either, are you? No. But it goes together nice. This one's great. All right? Okay. And it's kind of a barbecue chicken, isn't it? It's a little bit smoky. It's smoky. Right? It's cooked really nice. So if you guys ever come to this machine in Shinagawa Station, where the bullet train stops, it's kind of a, a busy area. You could try this machine. We'll tell you what the best item is. Hey, look, this dish has some broccoli in it. <laughs> it's good. But there's also shrimp in here, potatoes. Read, read the whole Japanese farm. Hemp seed to gorogoro gzai no ethnic itame. Did you say hemp seeds? Hemp seeds. <laughs> okay. Time to get high. <laughs> you, know, you don't get half hemp seeds. <laughs> I'm going to try to get as many seeds in my spoonful as possible. Almost broke a tooth. Hemp seeds are crunchy. It was like an Indian, it's ethnic. Ethnic, yeah. Ethnic, it says that, right? Yeah. Ethnic. 
Wow. Meaning lots of herbs and spices, right? Ethnic dish. Oh my gosh. The hemp seed salt. Did you get the crunch? Okay. Yeah, it was. That's like no other crunch of any nut or seed. All right, bang. It pops. It pops. It pops in, in your head. The shrimp is good. I didn't get any potato yet. Potato is good. But what? It's kind of, um, well, I mean, it's tastes like Indian to me, not Indian spice. It's right, interesting. Curry, right? Yeah. Interesting. Doable. <laughs> I think the shrimp is good. And the hemp seeds. That's the first time I've ever had hemp seeds. Me too. Ever. So this is a first. You guys had hemp seeds? Would you recommend them? Just, I would. Just don't go in too heavy with the the bite. <laughs> yeah. You might lose it too. <laughs> okay. Next up, where are we going? Ebby chili. chili. So shrimp and chili sauce. And there's brown rice inside. Okay, mix it. So it's a rice dish, brown rice, and then it's being served with white rice. Yeah. How about that? I mean, yeah, it'd be chili, right? Chili shrimp is a very popular dish in Japan. Yeah. It's good. It's good. It goes good with the rice. Sweet and spicy. Yep. Well said. Sweet and spicy sauce. All right, so shall we take a break? What do you think? Okay. Let's take a break and do the cool stuff time. I think I got a hemp seed stuck in my bottom left molar <laughs> okay today's cool stuff time mega what do you got i got a dinosaur egg say what does it hatch oh it says mega on it it's got your name on it mega okay so what do you how do you hatch it i put it in water and it takes five to eight days to hatch it takes five to eight days so we we got 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, well, we'll figure out something. Yeah. Okay, so I'll put water in this. Okay, go ahead, open it. Let's see how big it is. Is it mega? It is mega. It's mega. Okay. And what's the price for something like that? How much does something like this cost in Japan? Like 500 yen? Something about that. Three, four dollars? Yeah. Oh, it's heavy. Definitely got some inside it. Okay, so we just we could just use this little plastic bowl here, put water in it, and then we'll figure it out. <laughs> it floats. Floats. It floats. Okay. How do we speed it up? You just can we Hey dinosaur. Wake up, dinosaur egg. We gotta show the people something. We gotta give them something. They can't wait. What, seven days did you say? Five to eight days. Five, five to eight days. We've done this before, right? We did. And do we do we still have that one? Is that around somewhere? We have it. Oh, okay, well, pull that one out. All right, show us what you got. That's pretty cool, but it was way bigger than that, wasn't it? Yeah. So it's, it's shrunk down. It was how big was it? It was as big as this whole thing, right? It was mega. It was mega. So, all right. Well, this is the mini version, but to be continued, we will show you the large one when it's ready. So in yeah. a future video, a vending machine video with us, we'll show you what the real one looks like when it actually does come out of the egg. But it's pretty cool. And we are back. I want to give this a little bit of revenge. Try this again, the clam chowder, take two, because we just heated it up for one. And we've got some sriracha and some Tabasco here. What do you think? Are you willing to give this a shot again? Okay. <laughs> you sound a little apprehensive. Are you sure? <laughs> you sure you're willing to give it a try? Maybe. Okay. You just do it just a tiny bit. I always like to try to get it right. I... Okay, it doesn't smell like cardboard anymore, does it? No. Okay, so we'll mix that heat into it. Okay, sriracha sauce and Tabasco. Now I smell the car, isn't that weird? There's a cardboard smell. Okay, just one spoonful, okay. Actually, in Japan you say revenge when you wanna challenge something again. It's not really revenge, you're not really getting back at it. You're hoping for better. Okay, so it's the second try. Not, not feeling up. No. <sighs> Still baby food. <laughs> it's like baby food, right? Yeah. Let's do the 
Gyusuji soup. Gyusuji, all right. This is what, beef intestine? And what is that, like some potatoes as well, it's too? Daikon radishes. Oh, it's radish, okay. And it's in a milky, what kind of sauce is this? A milky sauce? Yeah, some kind of milky sauce. Well, it's a cream sauce, isn't it? It's... What does it say on there? Shiokoji. Shiokoji, so... Salty something? Salty something. <laughs> Gosh. The meat is amazing. That is really tasty. Like fatty beef, right? Yeah. So a little crunchy, a little liney, a little fatty. A nice taste though. It's a nice soup. What? Right? It's a nice meat. This one's a winner. No. Yeah. That meat's quality. Okay, let's do this one. This is some kind of a bean soup, isn't it? Yeah. Beans and something else, right? Maybe pork. Pork. This is, oh, that's right. This is the spicy pork. Spicy pork. There's avocado in here and beans and a sauce. Okay, this is this is hearty. Hearty for sure. Hearty, wholesome, filling. It's in a tomato sauce. Yeah, I like the pork. All right, let me try the pork. Well, it's tender, isn't it? Well. Hmm. I don't know, something that tastes processed. I like the beans. I'm not a big fan of the tomato sauce, but this is good. This is a healthy salad. A healthy stew. That's not a salad, Eric. This is the salad right here. We totally skipped the salad, the chef salad. It's good. It's good, right? Mm-hmm. Except for the tomato sauce. Did I say that already? <laughs> All right, we gotta do the chef salad. Gotta get some chef salad goes up a notch every time we have it. This is prepared locally here. This is the only thing that didn't come from a vending machine. Right? Yeah. Look at this, it's got almonds on top. Those chocolate almonds, shaved almonds. There's avocado on this too. I think our chef salad's got about 20 items. Maybe? Maybe. Bacon bits. What is that? It's like cured ham or something on top? Okay. Trying to get a little bit of everything. Let's skip the mushrooms. Okay, and the dressing. Ready? This is looks like a light vinaigrette. Okay, here we go. Chef salad, dark leafy greens. I like the dressing, nice and light. I think it's a plum dressing. There's bacon. Woohoo! I got bacon, avocado. Grilled onions. It's a banging salad. And candied almonds on top. Is it candied almonds? It tastes like candied almonds. It tastes like candied almonds on yeah. top. Very nice. We should have started with this. <laughs> what were we thinking of? But it's just in, as enjoyable now as it would have been as the first item. Makes no difference. Because it's of the quality, right? It's yeah. on the level. It's off the hinges. And fun fact, when we finish the production here and the camera shuts off, the chef salad is the first thing that we go back to. First thing I go back to. He's different. <laughs> I will always finish the chef salad first before I go and eat anything else. Or finish up anything else. Okay, Mega. Where are we at here? Help me out. Anything else over there we haven't done yet? We got dessert. We got dessert. This one's the uh, chocolate pudding. And chocolate. Chocolate and chocolate pudding from a vending machine. I think we should do the pudding first because this is probably going to be sweeter. Yeah. Yeah. So basically Japanese pudding, it's very unique because it's got two layers. It comes with this layer, this syrup on top. Well, actually, this is this is actually the chocolate from the factory that, they, that came out of that vending machine. It's chocolate on top. But typically it would be something different. Okay. He got in there. I'm going in with my big spoon. <laughs> we get anything out? No. Let me get a little bit. Oh my gosh, that's good. It's so good. It's really rich. Okay. Well, I got a little bit. I'm good. You keep going. Okay. That's like the richest pudding ever. And that, it's, it's so rich. And it's more like a, it's a chocolate fudge on top. That's what it is. Yeah. So Japanese puddings, you know, they're available everywhere. You can get them at convenience stores. They're on every restaurant menu almost, like family restaurants. But this one's special, I would say. It's special. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, because it's a chocolate factory that runs that machine. 
They're calling it the rich Nama chocolate from Shonan in Hidatsuka. So this is local. You don't get much, but look at the packaging. It's gorgeous. It's served in cubes. Oh, it is fancy, isn't it? And I tried to get the white chocolate, but the white chocolate was sold out. So we have to settle for this. Got it? Okay. Dessert time. Part two. Oh my gosh, it's just like the creamiest chocolate ever. Yeah. Right? And it's got a nice little powder on the outside. Super, super soft. The powder is a little bit bitter. Mm-hmm. That's right. But inside it's so sweet. There's a nice, yeah. That's, that's the nice thing about the powder. Yeah. The bitterness. What a great way to eat chocolate. Just tiny little portions. Oh my gosh, it's just so soft. I want some more of this. This is a sin to go in with chopsticks to it. <laughs> We're doing it. That's all we got. Oh my gosh, they're both equally pleasing. Small quantities of the sweets. If you're gonna eat really sweet food like this, you just gotta do the small quantities. And Japan is really good at that, right? Yeah. Okay, so is that it for this? That's it. Did we do it? We, we did. did it. It felt like a lot of food. A lot of interesting stuff. Yeah. that we've never seen before. And that's the kind of the cool thing about vending machines in Japan is the if you keep looking, you can keep finding stuff that you've never tried before. There's a lot of businesses that are getting into the game of having their own vending machines out in front of their stores and at different train stations and whatnot. So it's pretty awesome. You can even find a good vending machine, a quality vending machine in a parking lot Right? Yeah. I mean, they're everywhere. <laughs> it's time to rate this meal, Mega. What did you... Let's talk about the items. What, what did you like best? What did you like worst? I like roasted chicken and broccoli the most. Okay. It's this one. That was way up there. Yeah, that was good. That was really good. The broccoli and the chicken went together really well. Yeah. And for me, I think... I think the gyu suji. This, this one right here was good. The bee, I didn't, because I didn't think I was going to like it, right? Yeah. It only bothers me if it has the bad smell. And this one doesn't. Yeah, so me too. That's, that's kind of the thing. It's nice to have, like, some fatty meat and then some really nice, like, meaty meat at the same time. The clam chowder. Ugh. You know, clam chowder. Clam chowder in a bag, what do you expect, right? Yeah. It's got to be made fresh in a pot, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Put a number on it. One to six. Oh, you're gonna go. It. A four. A four. Four out of six. Okay. It was different. I'm just for uniqueness. I'm gonna go five out of six. I like the varieties of new stuff that they're coming out with. So we will keep making these as long as you guys keep slapping likes on the videos and they're getting the views as they do. The vending machines tend to do the best overall. So we want to thank you for your support and we will see you in the next one. Eric and Mega out of here.